So hey folks, hope you're all well. I'm just out on a session here. Bit of wind therapy. <laughs> it's well required. The weather has been rotten. It rained pretty much all night last night. And that's why I'm surrounded by puddles. So the day I was out with the other Scottish guys, the Scottish motor vloggers, had a few issues with this bike. To start the day off, I wasn't far from where I had to meet the guys and I pulled in to the side of the road to check my phone, to check the navigation to make sure I was in the right vicinity. And this happened. So I pulled in here with the rest of the guys at the waterfall and I found the bike was too high for me <laughs> so I had to get some help which I'll show you here. Nah, no. I'm just waiting on help. <laughs> nah, do you know what? I'll just ride. <laughs> I don't know, shit, I need to kick my stand up maybe. <laughs> oh, magic. And also this happened as well. already. It was around £300 for one from BMW. You can buy similar ones on eBay for £175 plus about 15 postage I think it was. But I found one on AliExpress for £95 or something like that. Plus tax. So it was about £100. And Thirty pounds, I think. So I'm waiting on that coming. It'll take four weeks. <laughs> the downside, but no rush. I can ride this obviously with the regular on and the comfort seat, but not both at once. <laughs> uh, and that's fine. 
you've just got to watch for awkward cambers when you're parking. Although I'm convinced this side stand isn't right for this bike. I'm going to actually look into that. I'm sure I heard there was a recall on stands. I'm sure that was on the VGS that I used to have, in fact. Think about it. So, later on in the day, stopped the bike again and I thought, is it going to start? So I'll show you this. And then another clip where I another warning message coming up on the dash. Now uh, here's the question. Will it start this time? Fingers crossed. <laughs> so why not? Aye. Uh, I've got about 90 mile, I'm sure. 82. That'll do me. with it starting and all these warnings on the dash put me off owning this bike no way not in the slightest I've done this one never been down here before so I'll leave it at this to now I've got a few things coming from AliExpress uh, so I'll show you them back at the work once they arrive so, see you in a bit. Cheers. Coming soon. I've got bags and bags and bags of fun coming up right here. I'm going away in a week or so for an overnight camp. So I'm going away with a few of the Scottish motovlog guys that I was out with a few weeks back so it shall be awesome hopefully and hopefully we got a bit of sunshine cast upon us so I've been shopping again a pair of Moto Wolf gloves summer gloves a pair of Revit gloves again summer gloves both from AliExpress. I bought this a couple of days back. A Lomo 40 litre hold all. Waterproof, obviously. A Lomo 25 litre. Roll top bag and it actually straps on to the top of the hold all. And I feel sort of robbed in a way. Not by Lomo in any way. By this mob, SW Maltec. So this is a dry bag 180. The buckles are hiding the name partially. And it's an 18 litre bag. It was around 60 pounds two or three years ago. Whereas I got this 40 litre this 25 litre, as well as this little LED headlight torch for pretty much the same money, which is madness. I'd say these are actually a bit thicker, the material they're made from, than the SW Motec. But it is waterproof, at least I've tried it a few times and it's never failed on me. Although the front zip, I remember, on the pouch. Did let in a bit of water, I'm sure. But no, these are awesome. I recently just bought this as well, a new air bed. And a 12 volt pump for blowing it up. A luxury camping pillow. Whoop, whoop. 
So I need to try and figure out how to strap all this securely onto my GS. I don't know if I'll need to buy a new camp chair, in fact. This seems a bit long. So I better crack on at least do a dry run here. As I said, that's about a week till I'm away, so don't want to be fannying about at last minute trying to strap stuff onto the bike. Oh, I forgot to mention these. These are AliExpress as well. Moto Wolf. Crash bar bags. But they're pretty cool as well. Although if I'd known there was only a tenner of a difference between them and the Lomo ones that they do, I would have just bought the Lomo ones. So, looking forward to getting away. But not looking forward to strapping all this on in the bike. So peace out folks. Take it easy. Cheers for watching. Take care.